Yeah, we're just charging up Rosie because she has to do some vacuuming today. Anyway, what I want to show you today is in here. This is a Dell laptop and uh, it's got a broken screen. So I'm going to take you through how I would replace this screen with a new LCD and um, we'll just hang out for a while. So let's get started. So um, I want to show you what this Dell is doing. By the way, this Dell that we're going to be replacing the screen on is a Dell Inspiron N4110. Okay, well, there you go. As you can see, this screen is damaged all around in here. And uh, this happens. Oops. There it goes. This happens when this thing gets squeezed too hard or even pressed on or stepped on, that sort of thing. Um, they're very fragile, so any weight at all on here in the, just the right spot will actually crack um, several of these uh, panel layers in there. Um, if one breaks, then this will happen. And, you know, you got like three chances. There's three layers of them. And then you'll get into the liquid crystal. So I've seen where these have actually turned into rainbow colors. This one's like a black. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I go about taking this apart and uh, putting a new screen on it. So let's get started on that. Let's shut the machine off. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and take out this battery. Okay, so I grabbed a guitar pick, and it's the thickest one that I could find that wasn't a bass guitar pick. Those are too thick, but you can, I don't know if you can see. And they also have like plastic spatulas. Now, you know, the name of the game here is just to be very careful. And you stick the guitar pick in there, and you slide it down, and you twist. And if it doesn't want to crack easily, find a new spot. When you're up in this top part, be very careful because there's a web camera here right here. If you break this benzel, you know, it can uh, cost you a few bucks in time. So the name of the game is to be really careful with this. Just kind of feeling my way around in there, finding the clips, because I I don't know exactly where they are. I just know that uh, they're usually in the corners. Okay, I've got this piece started here. And you don't want to dig your guitar pick in there too deep either because what can happen if there's any wires or anything like that, you can, you can damage it. So you just have to take your time you can see I've cracked that side open and uh, I'm just going to keep moving in that same direction. There she is. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. I got to get coffee. Okay, so I'm going to show this plastic underside <clears throat> so you can see where the snaps are. So if you happen to have a Dell Inspiron 94110, you'll know exactly where the snaps are. Um, okay, here's the hinge side. I'm just going to turn it around here. And you can see that these are the snaps here. There's a lot of them. 
So I'm just going to show this whole frame. And here's a little window for the webcam up here. There's snaps all around it. This was, this is probably one of the harder ones that I've had to snap actually. <laughs> Even though it didn't have the screws. I almost prefer the ones with the screws. But you can see I didn't damage any of the, uh, I thought this one was a little bent, but I think that's okay. Um, you can see I didn't damage any of these clips, and that's important if you want to get this back together correctly. Okay, so I'm going to start removing some of these screws. I just thought I'd point out, you know, it's worth uh, taking the time to find the right tool because it will make the difference in the job. I like these two um, screwdrivers for laptop repairs. This has a very nice tip on it. And, uh, you know, a good Phillips tip is a must, especially with a LCD monitor repair. And then I have a flat blade, too, in case I have to do just a tiny bit of prying. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, take these screws out up here. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen these two. And these two, I've taken these two completely out. I'm just going to loosen these up. I'm not going to take them out. And the reason why is I need to tip this forward just a little bit. So that's what we're going to do here. I mean, I suppose you could take them out, but why do it if you don't have to, I guess? Okay. And then you can see that the screen is starting to come away from the cover. And that allows us to take um, these side screws out. There's one here, one here, and then on the other side as well. So we're going to go ahead and pull those completely. And I'm going to take the bottoms out first. So these screws are black, and uh, there's four of them. Now the, the whole thing might want to tip like this, so just got to be kind of careful with it. And then I'm going to take these out too. There's one more up here. Okay, let's let go. So I'm just going to carefully take it out of the frame and go straight over with it just like this because you got a wire hook to it okay this wire comes up to the webcam so we're going to disconnect that actually i might be able to pop that webcam right off there. let me see it is tabbed this might be where my flat blade screwdriver comes in handy yeah, I think we can just pull this little circuit board right away if we're careful. Looks like it has double sided tape on it. I know that this ribbon cable does, so I'm going to just pull it from the backing. There we go. That's just the ribbon cable here. You can hear it. It's. Um, double sided tape on the back there we go you can see it's black okay now I can roll this down okay so next I have to take this ribbon cable off here what I'm doing is carefully unsticking this ribbon cable from the back of the LCD and very carefully because you don't want to end up having to buy a new wire harness just keep it flat and take your time when you get to the back of the screen you're gonna have a clip on here I think they call these clips uh, Zip clips. I might be wrong on that. I'm not sure what the name of it. Maybe zip clip. I'm su I'm sure one of one of you guys that are watching knows. But anyway, there's a piece of scotch tape 
that's covering up this whole thing that has to be taken off. So I'm just trying to get under here and see if I can get the tape up. Okay, you can see how it's constructed poorly in my opinion, but that's how it's done, so I can't change that. So this should come out now. And it does. All right, it was a little tough to do it, and it was uh, my first time with this precise style. Um, you know, all these are kind of the same, and if you use common sense, you can kind of wing it like I did. Okay, so now that I've got this out, I've got to look this up and see if I can uh, purchase one. So stay tuned for that. See how it goes. Yeah, you can see that, but anyway, it's LP140WH4. It's a 14 inch HD screen Okay, real quick. I was trying to take that thing apart and I I really didn't explain but this is an HP This is a different laptop. I just wanted to show you those little screws that I was telling you about on some laptops And you know if you look on the other side the cover still on I haven't taken that one off yet Let's see if I can get the light here So there's like a little cover here And it's usually rubber and then the screws underneath that and so what I like to do is take a sharp knife or something and pop it out so if you take a you know a screwdriver or a knife or something and you just dig at it and push um, it pops right out actually it fell on the floor I gotta find it now but anyway there's the screw right underneath these two tabs okay that's all I wanted to show you so you know uh, different types of laptops have different ways of holding it down but this one will still have the screws the uh, clips but it won't be as near as uh, tough to pull it apart because of the screws once we take them out all right well it only took a few days for this box to get here and as you can tell by the box I ordered it from amazon.com I've had good luck with ordering LCDs and computer parts from Amazon in the past. So the main thing to do is put the, no, the new one and the old one together and make sure that uh, they're the same product and I'm not going to have any, you know, trouble fitting it. Okay, so the, the old one's on the bottom. This is the one that's all cracked up, you can see here. And, uh, yeah, looks great. Same size, same, same connectors, same screen. Okay, so let's get ready to mount that. These parts are all very delicate and easily damageable, so you want to be very careful. Well, I have my frame screws back in the corners here. If you notice, I've left the protective plastic on to the last second, right before I put my frame back on. Now, before I put my uh, 
Before I put my plastic back on, I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in real quick and power this out make sure it still works. So you just want to get a look through here and make sure that all the wires are tucked in. Check your screws. Make sure all your screws are tightened back down because I did loosen these when I originally um, took it apart so that it would be easier to pull the hinges forward. So I'm just going to tighten those back up. Be very careful with the screwdriver around the screen. I have scratched a brand new screen before with a screwdriver slip like that. And trust me, it's a bad thing. <laughs> Now might be a good time to go ahead and clean your little lens on the camera part here. Let's get a soft cloth and wipe it off. And we're just going to start snapping this back on. goes on a lot easier than it came off, I'll tell you that. You don't want to put too much pressure anywhere on the screen because that's what broke in the first place. Pretty good that way. Let's check this. Just looking around all the seams to make sure that it's just completely sealed back up. There's one little spot right over here. Okay, very good. Well, there it is, guys. Looks like a brand new screen worked out very well. Well, I hope you got some use out of this little Dell uh, screen replacement tutorial. Um, the main thing is to take your time and understand how all the pieces go together before you take it apart and just be very tedious in the fact that you don't break any of the little plastic parts and then once you have put your new screen in make sure that you um, you know take precautions to protect the new screen because it's very easy to damage these okay guys have yourself a good one thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.